What's up, you guys? Oops. What is going on? Welcome back to another video. And welcome back, welcome back to another update of my 30-day fat loss transformation. Would you believe today's date is the 12th of May? And that actually means that it is day 30. So that means that if I wanted to, I could call it quits on this transformation right here, right now. But unfortunately, or fortunately, whichever way you want to look at it, I'm going to continue. I'm going to continue for another two weeks. So we're going to make this a six week fat loss transformation. At the moment, the way my physique's looking, I'm at that point. It's starting to turn. It's starting to turn positively. I've got through those first couple of weeks where you start to look worse before you look better. My metabolism is firing. My body is starting to make that change. And now the cuts are starting to come in but they're certainly not where I want them to be or where I thought they might have been by this time. But that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about the previous week. We're here to talk about from day 22 to day 29 of this 30 day fat loss transformation. Once again, I've got my sheet full of data. As you guys know, data is what I love, especially when we're doing video series and things like this, because at the end of the day, because at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, we can look back, read the data, and have an understanding of how and why things happened. So guys, I've got my four pieces of data to present, and they are my sleep, which I am happy to say I tracked all seven nights. I've got my, my steps slash exercise, uh, which I tracked all seven days, which is fantastic. Calories burnt, which I tracked all seven days, and my forms of exercise, what I've actually done to burn those calories and expend those steps. Let's get into it. Um, sleep. Now, obviously, sleep is, well, that's how we live. I mean, if we didn't sleep, we would die eventually, I think, or at least we'd go crazy. So, you know, sleep's really important. I've actually really enjoyed being able to track it. You know, when I got this Fitbit, it wasn't to track my steps. It wasn't to track my calories. It was actually to track my sleep. So that's been one of the most interesting things for me to track. So after the last seven nights of, of tracking data, this is what I've got. I averaged seven hours and 55 minutes of sleep per night, which, you know, to be consistently getting that is pretty damn good. Although it's not like I have an alarm to get me up at the moment. My best night of sleep was Monday, the first night of the week, which was nine hours and 12 minutes. My worst night of sleep was on Thursday with six hours and 21 minutes. And on average, guys, that seven hours and 55 minutes of sleep per night is happening between 11 p.m. and 9 a.m. Now, seven hours and 55 minutes. I can tell you guys that, for example, on a day where I, I might get nine hours sleep, which is huge, that's a lot. Not only am I waking up thinking, fuck, I've just wasted half the day, but I can really feel that. Like I wake up and I don't have that tired feeling behind my eyes. I don't have that pressure. It's like, it's like my eyes can, can, can feel fresh from the moment I open them, you know, and that, that is a feeling that you can recognize. So on a night where I might get six hours of sleep, I certainly don't feel like that. I feel like I need my coffee. I need to have a shower to wake myself up. So but it, is, it is very interesting, you know, the difference between a six hour sleep and, and a nine hour sleep. But clearly I don't have an alarm clock. I'm not getting woken up. So my body is sleeping as much as I need. And effectively, apparently that's seven hours and 55 minutes a night. Okay, steps and exercise. I tracked for all seven days. From Monday to Sunday, we had a total of approximately 55,000 steps, which is probably not as many as I'd hoped. I wanted to average about 10,000 steps per day. What, what actually happened was I averaged about 8,000 steps per day. My biggest day, as far as steps were concerned, was Sunday. I did 14,103 steps. My lowest day was Friday, where I did 3,075 steps. Now the difference between my lowest and the highest is literally a 10 kilometer run. So on a day where I do 3,000 steps, that's literally just walking around the house. On a day where I do 13, 14,000 steps, that's just walking around the house, except I'm going out for a 10 kilometer run or walk. And that's what happened on that day. Now steps are all good, but what we're really focusing on as far as losing body fat is, is calories. It's calories in versus calories out. And as far as calories are concerned, through the seven days, from the 4th of May to the 10th of May, I burnt a total of approximately 21,000 calories. Now I say approximately, it's gonna be a few out. I can't actually remember. I've just written these down. I've, I've looked, the screenshots that you see on the video, I've taken. 
I've gone and looked at those screenshots, I've written out the data, so it's easy for me to, to talk about. So it's, it's approximately 21,000 calories, which means on average, approximately I've burnt 3,000 calories per day. Now, my highest day, as far as calories are concerned, I burnt 3,749, and that was on Thursday. My lowest day was the Friday, where I only had 3,075 steps, and I only burnt 2,443 calories. So on average, guys, as far as sleep, steps, and calories are concerned, we've got seven hours and 55 minutes of sleep per night, we've got just under 8,000 steps per day, and we've got around about 3,000 calories burnt per day. Now, as far as the exercise or the mode of exercise, um, I've been running and walking and cycling. Not so much cycling. Usually I'll start walking and then I'll get bored of walking after about five minutes and I'll start running. Okay guys, so this is the data that I really enjoy. Not only steps, but also once I've done a run or a walk, coming back and actually looking at the app, looking at Strava or my Fitbit, and, and, and you know, finding out how I did. Because there is one thing that I try to do every single time and that is I'll try to pace myself enough so that during the final kilometer I'll try and speed up and I'll try and get my fastest recorded K of the run in the last kilometer just for a little challenge. But with that in mind, the first run was on Thursday, it was a total of 9.53 kilometers. It took me 58 minutes and 48 seconds. My best kilometer was the fourth K in five minutes and 24 seconds. I walked the first kilometer and in doing so, my average kilometer pace was six minutes and 10 seconds per K. Throughout that 9.53 Ks, there was a five kilometer stretch that effectively was my third fastest 5K and that was 28 minutes and 50 seconds. My second run was on Sunday, 10 Ks exactly. 58 minutes and 30 seconds. My best kilometer was the final kilometer in four minutes and 53 seconds. My average pace throughout the 10 Ks was five minutes and 51 seconds. Throughout that 58 minutes and 30 seconds, my best five kilometer stretch was 26 minutes and 58 seconds. And that is so far my fastest five kilometer recorded. Once again, I walked for the first kilometer and then started running. I feel like I feel like at the moment I could comfortably run 10 kilometers in under an hour. And that is a decent level of fitness. That's, you know, good enough for me right now. And I guess if I really wanted to improve that, I'd probably have to focus on it. At the moment, I'm focusing on getting lean exclusively. Um, I'm using any run or any, any exercise I do just as a tool to add to that. And um, well, that's what we're doing. So here we are, 30 day fat loss transformation my fourth weekly update. We are gonna do two more weeks. Not where I wanna be just yet as far as you know conditioning goes, so we're gonna continue for another two weeks. And, whoa! <laughs> the moment you've all been waiting for. Whoa! And I know it's the moment you've all been waiting for because I can see my audience retention for every single video. In each of these update videos, everyone watches the first minute and then they skip right to the end so they can see my progress pictures. And that's what we're going to show you right now. So progress pictures. All of this means fuck all without actually seeing what all of this is doing. You know what I mean? And that's what progress pictures do. They allow us to see the transformation from the start to the end. Usually the first progress pictures aren't going to be the best. They're not going to be the most flattering. But they are important. You take them, you put them away, and then you wait until the end of the transformation where you put them together. And that's what we're gonna do at the end, but not just yet. So right now I'm gonna show you guys the progress pictures for this week. So we've got the, uh, the 12 odd progress pictures. Once again, you know, front relaxed, quarter turn to the left, rear relaxed. Uh, what do we got? Most muscular, a, a few different variants of most muscular. We've got a front double bicep, rear double bicep, rear lat spread, side chest, side tricep, abs and thighs, among a few others. So, like I said, um, everyone would have probably skipped the majority of this video and you would just be watching now, so I wanna say, well thank you. Thank you for being here. But I have to say guys, there may have been some crucial information in the middle part of this video that you might have missed. So please, by all means, go and check it out. And I will leave you with one final tip. If you're listening to a video on YouTube, could be a video of mine, could be anyone else's, usually long form, and it's just speaking, speed it up, man. Put me 
to 1.25 or 1.5 speed. You'll get through the video twice as fast and it doesn't really sound that much different. Anyways guys, that is a couple of tips from me. Um, this video has gone far too long, but with that being said, I'll see you in another week for our week number five update. And it's not going to be called a 30 day transformation, it's going to be called a six week transformation. So I'll see you then. Peace out. I swear I like your style, put you in Chanel cause it's just perfect for your smile. Girl I swear for you I run the world, I run.